This is Dennis. And believe it or not, this is Dennis's house. Dennis likes to get rid of things. Dennis, I understand you had a Van Gogh once. I did, that's true. And what did you do with it? I, I threw it out. It uh, cluttered my walls. But you have no walls. Nope, get rid of them. Why? Nothing to hang on them. Uh-huh. Um, uh, do you drive, Dennis? I used to. Had a really rare 65 Camaro. They didn't make Camaros in 65. That's what made it so rare. So, Dennis, you're a bit of a mechanic. Had to be with a 65 Camaro. What did you do with the oil when you changed it? What? Oh, that explains a lot. Used to be a lot of oil in the driveway. What did you do with it? I got rid of it. With a hose? What? No, I got rid of the whole driveway? Okay, well, at least he didn't hose the oil into the storm sewer because that would have caused huge problems. Here's what I mean. Take a liter of oil. I'm sure you've seen one before. But do you know what happens when it's dumped into water? <laughs> you probably don't want to. That's because just one liter of oil can actually contaminate one million liters of water. Hard to believe, isn't it? What's even harder to believe is that some gas stations, auto repair shops, even residents don't know or don't seem to care. When you spill even a little oil, it gets into the storm sewer, it goes directly into our rivers, creeks, and lakes. That's right, straight into the Thames River without being treated first. So, you're a business that works with oil, grease, and other auto waste. Do you know what the law is? First, you need an oil interceptor, and you need to maintain it too. How about oil changes? If you've got waste oil, it needs to be picked up by a licensed recycler or taken to a special waste disposal site, along with oil filters and other automotive waste. Spills? Don't use water. Use absorbent material or rags. Have a spill plan and make sure your employees know it. Here are two ways to prevent gas and oil from getting into our storm water. Number one, have a container of well-marked spill absorbent at the pumps. Number two, install oil absorbing pads in storm drains, or better yet, install an oil grit separator. Pretty smart, huh? Got questions? Just ask. Always make sure you put oil, grease, and auto waste in the right place. You'll be saving our sewers and protecting our environment too. Where are you going? I just remembered I left my 58 Pathfinder running. <laughs>